Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I am taking this channel in a new direction. Focus more on art. So graphics, art, illustration, all that good stuff because that is what I know and I'm gonna just focus it in that direction. So it's gonna be a quick tutorial on how to set up Photoshop for pixel art. So let's jump into it. Of course, you know, not everyone ha has access to Photoshop. So I will either show you other techniques or I'll uh, put some links to some other videos on how you can start creating pixel art for free. But yeah, so this is mainly gonna show Photoshop. So what you wanna do is make a new file and you wanna set the height and width to something less than I'd say a hundred um, pixels each way depending on what you want to make and how complicated you want to make it in general if you want to make like a like because in pixel art it's usually you do like an 8-bit um, artwork or 16-bit artwork or 32-bit artwork so for example let's just do 16 by 16 which would be an example for 16-bit so you want it to be pixels and just leave it at 72 for now and RGB and yeah just create your canvas so now as you can see it's very tiny that's because it's only 16 by 16. now a thing i have set on this side to the right is called a navigator window and this essentially shows your artwork what it looks like like zoomed out in a way which is nice to see what you're working on and how it looks like, like for example if i was like zoomed all the way in you can see on the right here that it shows like the section that you're zoomed into it's you yeah like I said, it is uh, useful for seeing how your artwork looks, you know, like all together. So if you guys have used Photoshop before, um, this will be quite familiar to you. You've got layers on your right or well, this is the way I've set it up. If you haven't, you can just go up here to window and you can arrange or click workspace and just literally select whichever one you want. And you can also move these anywhere you want as well. This is how I currently like mine. This will be our canvas. So with pixel art, obviously it can be transparent if you wanna switch that layer off and on. Um, let's leave it on for now. So for grid lines, we want grid lines. So let's go to settings. This might be slightly different for, uh, for windows. I don't know, like I haven't used windows in a while. So um, on a Mac anyway, it's you click Adobe Photoshop, settings, and then guides, grid and slices. On uh, windows, it might be in file settings or something, or file preferences. So what we wanna do is set the grid to every to so change this to pixels and every one pixel that's it and you can't really see them now but you will once we start adding color this will be set to the brush this tool but we want to set it to the pencil tool the pencil tool here just because the pencil tool if you set it to one pixel so all the way to one pixel here hardness 100 smoothing you can leave the smoothing on or off doesn't really matter but yeah let me just put a black color here but now once i start drawing now you'll like you'll see you can start making pixel art and if i zoom in you can also see wait let me just color more in you can see the outline of the grid the outline of the grid you can see the grid lines that we also set so they are like the grid lines will always be there now for you to sort of like help you as a guide which is nice it's nice to do and also as you can see on the right now it's like we're like zoomed in we've got a zoomed in view of our artwork but on the right here in the navigator window you can see what it looks like you know zoomed out which is helpful it's handy yeah so that is how you start creating pixel art guys and it's literally the same so i don't know let's just make a little let's make a little plant let's make, uh, make a little plant right now so in my head i'm just gonna think of it like a plant on like a, a table ledge or something so i'm just gonna do some brown colors paint that in here and if you guys see the view on the right it just it's a nice way it's a nice way to sort of see your artwork in one in one go so i will make a new layer for each color just to make it easier for the future as in it uh, like for example now if i want to change the color of this whole ledge i can just change the color on a layer style like so and even if i want to add a gradient you can see the gradient looks like that in the navigator window and we can reverse essentially it's just easier like if you want to you know play around in the future with future styles and stuff just to separate your colors out into layers so cool i will make another slightly darker brown for the pot this is just really random right now <laughs> still need to practice um uh pixel art myself like i do enjoy it but it's been a while as well you know that doesn't even look nice to my eye so oh let me show you how to do this i did that by instinct so to erase you do you do use the eraser tool which is here and 
normally it would be set on brush and it would work on brush as well like even if you put the size to one and the hardness to zero but the only problem with brush is you'll see it's got like a feather effect so it's like if i'm erasing like it erases like it gradually which is fine if you're going for that effect but in pixel art you kind of want to erase stuff like just straight away in the block so we want to change that from brush to pencil make sure the opacity is 100 again size one hardness to zero and then it just lets you erase like so so yeah um right I'm just using shortcuts guys so I'm using the B for the pencil tool and E for the eraser it's just easier to sort of switch between um, so I will go back to B and I will continue my pot although right now it doesn't look like a pot actually that's starting to look like a pot new layer now I will choose a green a nice green color of course in the future if you wanted to you know have uh, like a proper palette or something like you can obviously do that as well um, that is not what I wanted to do but let me just make sure this stem goes up let me add some leaves even though that does not look like a leaf and that doesn't look like a leaf either i think if i just have it like that i don't know what this is anyway this is my sort of plant for now let me make a yellow center for the flower and let me make some pink petals so now we have a nice little pixel art plant this is of course very uh simple as is usually the case with uh you know 16 bit art it's quite simple obviously the more you go up like 32 bit you can start adding like like you've got more squares more pixels um to add like lighting and shading and stuff it's still possible now it's just i guess it uh, requires more creativity but yeah so now actually let me just add so let me change the white here so that's a handy thing with um with the layer styles is just now because i was gonna say let's just add like a light blue sort of sky in a sense so now if i hadn't got this layer here i'd have to make a new layer i'd have to choose like blue and then i'd have to paint this whole thing in which is fine which is fine if you want to do it like that i'm just showing you now for an example but if you want to make it quicker again layer or just fill it in normally and just put a whole color overlay on it that's it and then you can change the whole color if you want and just delete that layer so now to make this look nicer i can do it in two ways so i'm going to create a new layer for this let me show you the first way so now we want to add some lighting and shading to this light and shadows um so i'm going to select black just full-on black there new layer hit my brush tool b brush tool but now like for example if i think now the light is coming from this side so even pixel art works like normal art so if the light is coming from this side here where would the shadows be of the object so i'm just going to add some sh shadow to this side and maybe this side of the pot maybe to this side of the pot as well although i might do that on a separate layer actually hang on yeah let me follow my own my own advice here so even this let me get rid of that one even this you want to um, make a new layer for each sort of shadow that you make each like shadow and highlight that you make just to make it easier for yourself you know so let me make some more so i'm just going to do it to this side of the plant so if that's like the underside and maybe like one here and maybe these two here so now if i go to all these shadows and i change the blend mode from normal to something else <laughs> so now these ones won't really make a difference but if you go to like overlay and soft light these are the ones that will make a difference so if i change this one to soft light and then if i reduce the opacity i'm just clicking and dragging you can see now that it's sort of if i uh, take it to like 47 percent if i click on the plant or the pot shadow one change that to like you know what i'm gonna get rid of the pot shadow <laughs> for now just to make it um, um easier to see so you guys can see now the pot has a little shadow in the navigator view here the same for the plant ones i'm gonna change it to soft light i'm just going to reduce the opacity just a tad so now you can see it's got that sort of shaded that and um, pixel art shaded effect so now for the highlights you'd want to do it exactly the same way so you'd make a new layer change this from black to white or let me just change that back to black uh, a little hack for photoshop is you can just hit the x on your keyboard or if you change just click this little arrow here that'll flip the color from this one to this one so because i had black and white and i wanted to choose white i could just flip the arrow and choose white but now i want to um, paint in the parts which i think would have some light lightness to it so for me it would be this part of the flower 
maybe these parts of the plant and this part of the pot. Now I know here I put them in separate layers. Here I'm just doing it in um, on the same layer just to show you. So again, we choose soft light, reduce the opacity to our desired length, desired length, desired opacity. And yeah, so as you can see guys from far away, if I zoom out, it's not a bad little thing. And even in the navigator view, that shows it for you as well. That it's, it just adds a little bit more to your pixel, you know, like a little bit of shading, which is nice. So yeah, that's the first technique. Now, let me select all of that and delete. It goes back to flat, which flat might be what you're going for sometimes, which is fine. Let me hit X again to choose black. So now, this is the other technique to add shadows and highlights. So for me, so sometimes the blend mode won't be exactly how you want it, as in it won't show the color or the desired style that you're going for. Um, sometimes you need to manually um, add the shadows and highlights yourself. So we choose our brush. Now I'm gonna select the plant color using the eyedropper tool, plant color, the pot color. And I'm just gonna drag that a little bit, a little bit more dark. And then I'm gonna manually paint my highlights. And the good thing is now, because I've got that on its own separate layer, um, I can just sort of choose it as I see fit. And it's the same here as well. So new layer, if I select the green and I go over the slightly darker green, to add some shadows there and then if we do the same new layer select the pink go for a darker pink sometimes you might even want to change the shade of color and we do that there so now do the same with the highlights so select new layer select the pink go for a lighter pink put that there like so and then new layer select the green lighter green maybe even take that down the spectrum a little bit and just add that like that and then new layer brown lighter brown the highlights and as you can see guys that's what that looks like now in the navigator view and zoomed out as well so again two separate you know ways to um change or just add like shadows and highlights if you wanted to I think this one should be, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, guys, so that is like a small introduction. I say small, I don't know how long this video is. An introduction on how to make pixel art in Photoshop. I will probably make another video soon on how to do it for free using free software. But yeah, before I close out the tutorial, let me show you how to export this. So it's quite simple. So it's quite simple. First thing, because this is such a low res image, a 16 by 16 um, pixels. Now, if you were to save this as a normal, you know, file a normal like for example if i were to save this as a png in documents pixel art test be okay okay so guys here is what image looks like it just won't like it's it's literally blurred it's pixelated because it's so tiny of course that's not what we want so the correct way to export this is first go to image you go to image size now here you see it's 16 by 16 so now you can sort of size this up to whatever size you want so for this per like like for now let me just do hd so 1080 by 1080 and we do it in pixels leave the resolution to 72 if you wanted to print this like, I don't know, you might be making, I don't know, like some printable art, maybe stuff on Etsy. Change this to 300. Otherwise, leave it at 72. And you want to keep this resample checked. This might be on automatic, this uh, selection here. You want nearest neighbor hard edges. Leave it on nearest neighbor. Click OK. Now, you can see the image has resized. If I just pinch to zoom out, you can see that one pixel is, is like it's tiny. And the image is now a high res image. It looks the same on screen. But it's a high res image so now if i do again file save as and we save this as another test so we want to save it as a png you always want to save your pixel art as a png guys pixel art test large file size okay and guys now you can see that the image itself is nice and high res you can zoom into it it's all high res it's all high res which is great yeah guys that is a quick tutorial or tutorial i guess on how to make pixel art in photoshop and how to export it as well hope you guys enjoyed way more pixel art content to come in the future i'm just getting started <laughs> honestly just getting started and yeah hope you guys enjoy